I just realized that the butterflies follow your mouse cursor. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, is it just me or is that like the cutest thing ever? I, I absolutely love it. channel my name is Kiana and today we are starting a mini LP now I'm calling this a mini LP because in virtual families one which is what we're gonna be starting a new LP on there is not as much to do as virtual families too so some of you guys said that you guys didn't want to see this LP and then some of you guys said that you did so or that you do so I decided you know what we'll just make it a mini LP and I just I feel like I have to cover this LP you know just like when the third one comes out I'm definitely doing an LP on that like no questions asked I'm doing that one so I feel like I need to cover the first one you know I just I think that needs to happen so um now let me just make a quick note that the setup on this recording is different than the Virtual Families 2. If you watch my Virtual Families 2 LP, you know that there's that black bar on the side and my webcam is over there. But on um, what you're watching right now, there might be bars on the side, but I can't move my webcam over there. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm talking too fast, but that's just, you know, that's just life, I guess. Anyways, so I'm super excited to play this and we are just going to explore it, laugh at it, you know, whatever you want to call it, love it, just whatever you want. We're just going to, we're going to do it, okay? So, a quick little background, I feel like I'm talking too much, but just a quick background real quick before we get started. Um, the very first game in the series that I played was Virtual Families 1, and I never really got far on it, but I always enjoyed it. I wasn't very good at taking care of the people in the game, so they often died. But if you watch my Virtual Families 2 LP, you know that I cheat. You know that I cheat to give them money all the time, and I, they never really use their jobs. They, I always cheat to give them money, and I always pause the game. So if you're new to this, my channel and these videos, just, just know that. Anyways, let's just jump right into this, because I feel like I'm blabbering, but let's go. Let's go. All right, so actually, when I first loaded up the game, I had to automatically adopt someone, but we're not going to adopt her. We're going to pick someone new, so let's go ahead and start over. Yes, all right. Who are we going to adopt? Let's see here. Okay, so she just likes fixing. And you're not, you look like you poured a bowl of macaroni in your head. Not gonna happen. All right. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you look cray. Uh, you do not want kids. Let's find someone that definitely wants kids. If you, if you don't definitely want kids, then we're not adopting you. Uh... Did it just say that he liked garbage? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, okay, she's pretty good looking. She definitely wants kids. She only makes $15 a day. Um, again, I cheat, so I don't really care how much money they make a day. Um, eh, you know what? Let's keep going. Let's keep going to see if we can find something better. I think this is good. She's really, really cute. She's a watch fixer, I guess. Uh, she makes $105 a day, and she has $134 in the bank, and she definitely wants kids. I think this works. Okay, let's do this. Yes, okay. I get it. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, this is, like, a huge throwback for me because this, like, oh, my gosh, wow. I'm so used to Virtual Families 2 now that this is, like, whoa. All right, guys, um... So what? What now? Click him or her with your left mouse button. I did? Yep, I did. Okay. Cool. Ooh. I know. I played the second one. I know. And you know what, guys? Let me actually really quickly turn down the, uh, whatchamacallit here. Um, the little volume. How do I do that, actually? I don't even remember. I don't want it to be too loud, so let's just turn it down a lot. Okay, I think that's good. All right, here, so what do we need to do? Uh, click and hold and drag them to move them up and down. So one thing that is kind of odd about this is we are going to have to fix stuff. I mean, in Virtual Families, too, you have to do that, but it's kind of weird. There's, like, cracks in the ground and stuff. Um, I don't remember how to fix that stuff, but I guess we'll find out eventually. All right. Okay, I know. I, I play the second game. I know how to do it. Yes, I know. And there is a remote on the ground, too. We should probably pick that up. Go put it back, actually. There you go. Wow, she has a very snazzy bun going on there. I love it. And let's also put down those groceries, though. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Um, yes, we got plenty of food, too. 
uh, just go put that away. I hope it's like Virtual Families 2 where the food goes in there automatically. I hope so. Because, you know, otherwise, that would have been a waste of time. But, anyways, wow, this is like, oh my gosh. I can't, guys, I can't tell you how excited I am for Virtual Families 3. When it comes out, I'm, I want to be like the first one to get it. Like, this, honestly, like, I'm, I, ugh, I can't. I'm so excited. I want it so bad. I need it now. Like, I want to play it so freaking bad. Anyways, I keep blabbering here. But, uh, let's see. Okay, drag her to the sink. Cool. But seriously, guys, this is such a throwback. Like, this house. Oh, my God. And the shed. Oh, wow. Oh. Anyways. Okay, what now? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Pick up your adoptee and drop him in one of the colorful loose wrappers. In Virtual Families 2, we have a maid, so it makes life easy. But before we do anything, I do want to check out these stores. This, again, this is like such a huge throwback for me. I have not played this game in such a long time. And we obviously don't have a lot of decorations and things like that, but, I mean, whatever. Although I believe the objects actually change. So as you buy stuff, it will get switched out with something else. We can also upgrade stuff. Okay, we got like kitchen upgrades and things like that. Uh, we can buy groceries. Cool. And we can also buy little items. These towelettes are pretty nice though because in case they don't want to take a shower, you can just give that to them. We also have medicine and things like that. Which from what I'm noticing, the medicine in this game is actually a lot cheaper than it is in Virtual Families 2. Yes. Same thing with the Baby Boost. The Baby Boost in Virtual Families 2, I think, is like 2000 or something like that. So, this is nice. The Doctor's con con Consultation is pretty cheap, too. And the game is like 400-something. Yeah, things... Yeah, thing, not too bad. Alright. But we're not going to buy anything right now. I will end up cheating, more than likely, in the next part. Oh my gosh, we have an email. But what I was saying is, in the next part, we will more than likely cheat to give them money. Because, you know, anybody got time about it. I had to be trying to earn money. <laughs> I mean, who does that? Okay, anyways. Okay, let's just... Please be a merge proposal. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Wow. All right. You guys know, if you watch my Virgin Families 2 LP, which I keep saying like 80,000 times, but I honestly do not like waiting for marriage proposals, so whoever we get is who we go with. So I think we are just going to take him. And we do need to change his name, and, oh my god, wow. Okay, he makes $45 a day, he has $134 in the bank, and he does not want kids, but you know what? Things are possible, so, yes. So, so far in the comments, guys, we need a name for Zia, and we also name, need a name for Bilor. Yep, that's his name, Bilor. Alright. Um, wow, this is so cool. I wonder if we can still have six kids in this game, like Virtual Families 2. You know? I wonder. Anyways. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. Anyways, try for a baby. How do, how do we do this? I don't even remember how to do this in this game. Yes. Go make a baby. Okay. Give them some privacy. And, um, yes, we did master it. I know. I have, like, 60 parts in the Virtual Families 2 LP. You know? Yes. All right, guys. So now we just wait and hope for them to have a baby. Oh, my gosh. But seriously, though, guys, this game is such a big throwback. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so excited for the third one to come out. Like, oh, my gosh. You guys know I will be doing an LP on that as soon as possible because I just, I love this game. I love the series. I love everything. Okay, anyways, it, I, I, I become so impatient. They're impatient. That's, that's what it's called, impatient, when waiting for them to have a baby. Like, oh, yes, okay. Let's see who we got. Please be a girl. I don't want a boy. <gasps> She's cute! She likes bread. Oh my gosh, her name is Pepper and she likes bread. Is that is that just funny to me or is it funny to everyone? She's really, really cute! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is so cute! Wow, that is a really weird looking baby. But, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy. So, so far, we need some girl names and boy names because, you know, if you watch my Virgin Families 2 LP, I always let you guys pick the names. So, you know, you guys will get to pick names, of course. All right. So, I really feel like buying something. So, since I cheat anyways, it really doesn't matter. 
uh, let's go ahead and buy something. We can get a bathroom upgrade. We can get an air purifier if we wanted to. Uh, we don't have that much money right now. Um, I think for the money, we will get a bathroom upgrade. Yes. So is the bathroom upgraded? I guess. Is that what it looked like before? No. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's buy something else because I'm just so excited. Yes. One thing that I do miss compared to the Virtual Families 2 is you can't adopt in this game. Wah, but you know what? It's all right. It's, it's okay. Floor repair kit. We should probably get that. For one small, for one, are you serious? It, it's only good for one? There isn't even really anything else that we can get. Um, hmm. I think we will go ahead and get it. The floor repair kit, we, we might as well. We're going to need it at some point. We will also get a fragrance, yes. And we will, yeah. Yeah. I think they're pretty good. Now, one thing that is also different compared to Virtual Families 2 is you cannot um, use the time warp. If you guys watch or play Virtual Families 2, you guys know the time warp. It allows you to speed up two years, two or three years of game time. And that doesn't exist in this game. So, we are going to have to wait until Pepper ages up, which is crazy. Ain't nobody got to have it. Nope, not really. So, yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and figure out how we do this. Don't put away the groceries. Go ahead and fix the floor. How do we fix the floor? Yes, I know. I control your every action. I'm pretty sure I know that you had a baby. Anyways, seriously, how do I fix the floor? This doesn't make any sense. I hope I did it right and didn't put it in the wrong spot. Oh, man, but look at this kid's room. It's so cute. Okay, I'm guessing we can have six kids because there's six beds, so probably means we can have six kids. But, yeah, guys, let me know if there is a way to... Wow, she's talented. She's holding a cake and a baby. Super mom. But, anyways, let me know if there is a way that you can speed up time of some sort, you know? Yeah. We need to know, because it's going to take a very long time for this baby to age up. <laughs> but anyways, throwing out old food. Why do you have old food already? We just started playing this. Crazy. Anyways, okay, you go read a magazine. You go do that. But seriously, though, how do I use this floor stuff? Was that just a waste of time? Pretty much? I don't know. I think it might have been a waste of time, guys. So what's in the shed? What is in there that I should know about? I'm just gonna go take a nap. Just gonna read a magazine. Zia. Yeah. Okay. Is there something else we can buy? Because I, you guys, you know, I have to buy something. Like there's, it's an obsession. It's blah, 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 obsession. I have to buy something. Which we don't have any money, so I think we can't actually buy anything. But, yeah, I think I will actually, hmm, what is this guy wearing? Okay, we'll keep his clothes for now. I think it's funny. I don't know, just puffy sweater and stuff. So cool. But I think we will go ahead and buy them some more groceries, you know, you can't go wrong with some new groceries. I think we'll just get dairy since they're on sale. Um, and, you know what, let's just spend the rest on groceries. We have an awkward amount, and I feel like I have to use it, so we'll, uh, we'll keep it. All right. Let your wife sit on the chair. Seriously, she has to sit on the floor, and she's holding a baby. That's sad. That's really sad, Belor. Yes. Okay, go blow away those groceries. All right. All right, guys, I think I'm actually going to end this part here. Um, Obviously, there isn't as much to do. Definitely let me know, like, how do we fix the floors and how is there a way that we can speed up time or how long does it take to for the baby to age up you know because as you guys know with virtual families 2 i never have the game just running i always put it on pause every time i stop recording because otherwise they die right away so i'm just not good at taking care i'm not good with games like we're like uh sims free play for example where i have to keep up with the game i, I can't do that so 
No. Anyways, so we do need names, and we can name them, right? I believe we can name them. Yes. So definitely let us know. Give me some name ideas that we can name these people. So obviously in the next part when I record, it will probably be when Pepper is aged up, possibly, hopefully. Um, we do need names for Zia and Belor, and we'll have to wait on Pepper probably. But just let me know, and I will see you guys later. I hope you guys will enjoy this mini LP. This mini LP will probably only be like 20 parts or something like that. But who knows? We'll just have to see. So I will see you guys later. Yes, some other time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>